Not that I've ever done it before, but do you also sometimes get the random urge to take a whiteboard marker and draw on your teeth? We're back in the kitchen. Here's what we're having today. Here's what we're having. I got a free sample of mushroom gummies when I took you guys with me to the LA Fitness Expo for my last video. I have never had anything that even comes close to this. Of course, I did some research before I actually decided to try these. They are non-psychedelic. These are provided by a company called Trumi, which produces mushroom gummies for all different kinds of purposes. They do one for calm, sleep, daily use, boost, and we are trying focus. Not that I feel like I lack focus, but that purpose kind of turned me on the most. Besides that, it reminded me of Limitless. And not that I think its effect is gonna come anywhere near to that of the fictional pill consumed in Limitless. I'm sure it's a good time, so let's try it. Wow. Mm hmm. I don't know if I should take both of these. They say one serving is two gummies, so we're gonna have both. Life is short. Jesus, take the wheel. Before looking into this, I didn't even know that mushrooms could have beneficial effects without being psychedelic. This just had 30 calories. I do have to say it's very sweet. This is what the packaging looked like. It was beautiful while it lasted. Trash time. Moving on, these should start to kick in in about 40 minutes. I'm gonna keep you guys updated, but my expectations are very low. Of course, the whole concept of a shroom gummy markets very well, and you don't really need much more than that as a unique selling point. Obviously, these are legal, but I'm only trying them because I got a free sample. But hey, I don't wanna jinx it. Maybe I'm positively surprised and drift off into focus land and I'm extra productive today. But I do wanna keep the church in the village, so let's see if anything happens at all. I honestly don't know why I randomly feel the need to address this, but why does everyone say I look like Noah Schnapp? Before moving to the US, I have never been compared to this guy. I barely knew who this person was. I have never seen any of the Stranger Things seasons. Please don't come for me. But for the past months, people haven't even been casual about it. They're not like, haha, you kind of look like this guy from Stranger Things. Haha, you look like Noah Schnapp. No. Now I need to take this from the top. Growing up, my looks have been compared to some cute 90s, 80s actors. I've gotten Mozart before, but never have I heard Noah Schnapp. And I do think it's normal, especially in our society, when you're a teenager, that you compare yourself to people who are in the public eye. I had a friend in high school who looked very similar to Leighton Meester, or another one who was like a less handsome version of Leonardo DiCaprio. No offense. And once you pointed it out, everyone saw it, everyone had a laugh, and then moved on. But with this Noah Schnapp thing, I've been getting it at least once or twice a day. I mean, starting off, I've done it before, but I just googled this guy, and the first picture that comes up is this. I do not look like a sixth grader. I know I look young, but I do not look that young. We don't even have the same nose, and often that's a similarity that people can't pinpoint. And I think the reason why this is processing in my head so much is because I don't see it. Objectively speaking, I have big lips. He doesn't. I have a trained body. He doesn't. I have brown curly hair. He has brown straight hair. I have a jawline, or at least so I've been told. Great, this sequence is making me sound like a completely conceited egomaniac, but excuse me, I'm trying to prove a point. I'm sure there is some person in the public eye that I resemble at least a little bit more than him. Please, there has to be. So to finish this point off, please, no offense to you, Noah boy. I'm just trying to elaborate on why I've been bothered by this comparison for the past month, simply because I don't see it. I respect all the work you do, even though I've never seen any of it. I love you. I'm sure you love me. We all love each other. Peace, but no. Wow, that was a rant. Maybe the mushrooms are already doing their thing and I'm not even noticing. Another thing that concerns me. Wow, I just realized this video is packed with concerns. This is like a therapy session in disguise. I know you love it. Please keep watching. For some reason, I've been ripping my earlobe. Not on purpose, but every time I take off a shirt, my earlobe rips a bit. Only the right one though. And I don't think that's normal. I know that I kind of have big earlobes. People used to love playing with them and like touching them because they're so soft when I was younger. Wow, that sounded weird. But you get the point. I kind of have floppy and like Dumbo earlobes. Anyways, they never bothered me and the left one still doesn't, but every time I take off a shirt, the right one rips in. I mean, can you see this? Wait, let me use the fork. I've been properly paying attention to taking my shirts off more carefully the past days just because it was bleeding and everything. So it's already starting to heal, but three days ago there was a literal cut. I just thought to myself, what if one day I take my shirt off too quickly and then I have to run around like Van Gogh for the rest of my life? I mean, imagine my earlobe just rips off. That would be a plot twist. I didn't plan on this. Is there such a thing as an ear transplant? Because I would definitely need to look into it. Anyways, I'm taking more care now, but that is so weird. And here's what scares me. 
I did my due diligence and you can actually rip off an ear or an earlobe as easy as a band-aid. It's just your brain stopping you. That's the same way you can bite off your finger as easily as a carrot. It's just your brain stopping you. So the fact that I could actually be ripping off my ear accidentally if I'm not paying attention while taking off a shirt is a fear I thought I'd never have. So yeah, it hurts a little bit, but I'm always applying this little cream that I have. Where is it? Uh. I can't find it. Anyways, enough talking about my ears. I don't think anyone really cares about that. I just needed to get it off my chest and touch on the topic because all my brother does is laugh at me. I need a little energy shot. Literally just a shot. I don't want to have insomnia. Mm. Lately, I've been getting so many ads for these mushroom products. Mushroom coffee, mushroom vitamins, mushroom gummies. And I've never even had anything mushroomy. So of course I've developed an interest and this was the perfect opportunity that was even for free. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm saying it, maybe they are kicking in a little bit. I mean, this is probably just placebo and from zoning out at the lens of the camera, but it feels like I have a bit of a tunnel vision and I just feel ready to do stuff, but that could also just be the shot of Celsius I had five minutes ago, so. I never understood the hype, but lately I've been really getting into oatmeal. Not as breakfast, not as an actual meal, but as a quick snack for in between. What I usually do is I make myself some oatmeal with water, not adding anything but rolled oats. And then I just add to the hot oatmeal one or two pieces of really dark chocolate. I'm talking 85%. Let that melt in, stir it around, and then it's like, I don't know, chocolate pudding but not sweet, it is so good. I can only recommend it, super easy. Some news from my diet. Ah, I think I just pulled my Archilles thing. What is it called in English? Archilles tendon. I think I just pulled my Archilles tendon. What I do know though, is that it's time to end this video. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed another video of randomness and just me being me. Like I said, a therapy session in disguise, but I hope it's entertaining. I have to get these things off my chest. Pray for me with my ear. I beg you to brainstorm and potentially come up with another celebrity that I resemble and make sure to enjoy yourself. Have a blessed day. Again, thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.